The biggest event since the Australian Open happening this week in Rotterdam. We have a return of some big names coming back from the Australian Open. We did have a few big names that have pulled out though, so let's go to the withdrawal list first. So only one player has pulled out of the tournament and that's Daniel Medvedev, the defending champion. He pulled out possibly because he's playing in Dubai the week after and he doesn't want to go back to back and travel the world in a day. So understandable that he pulled out of this one, but it's very rare that the defending champion doesn't defend their title, especially at this level. Let's go over and see who's at the top of the draw though, because we still have some massive names playing. All right, looking at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one and no one gets a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner, Australian Open champion. First time back since winning the Australian Open a couple of weeks ago. He takes on Van der Zandtrup in the first round, which is actually the guy he played at the Australian Open. So very interesting to see him get a rematch there. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Monfils in the second round. Then we have Rayonic taking on De Jong. Winner of that will take on either Chorich or the number eight seed Bublik in the second round. Then we've got Herkash, number four seed, taking on Lehechka. Winner of that will take on either Griekspor or Musetti in the second round. Then we've got Fakina taking on Struff. Winner of that will take on either Rusevori or the number seven seed Umber in the second round. And some of those guys are actually playing this week and playing well this week. Players like Herkash, Umber, even Fakina. They've all really done well this week in France. So on the indoor hard courts, they're feeling pretty good about themselves. Of course, Sinner coming back for the first time since winning the Australian Open. That'll be fun to watch. Bublik also won a title over the last couple of weeks. I think he might have actually beaten Chorich in the final of one of those titles. So that'd be a fun one as well. But a very interesting draw and so keen to see how Yannick Sinner as a Grand Slam champion goes in his first tournament back. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Dimitrov, the number six seed, taking on Sinego. Winner of that will take on either Marajan or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Zhang taking on Shevchenko. Winner of that will take on either Safulin or the number three seed Runa in the second round. Then you got the number five seed Dimonor taking on Quarter in the first round. Great first round matchup there. Winner of that will take on either Prismic or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Ojeli Asim. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number two seed Rublev in the second round. And again, such big names playing in this tournament. Guys like Runa, Rublev, Dimitrov, Dimonor, all just outside the top 10, or some of them are inside the top 10. But then some of the unseeded players are crazy too. Quarter. Safulin, and even Ojeli Asim, if he can get some confidence, can all do damage here. So the bottom half of the draw, very, very stacked. And it could be really tough for those high seeds, the guys like Runa and even Rublev, to do well here because there are so many threats in their way. So there it is, the Rotterdam draw for 2024. And it's a very interesting draw. We don't have the big, big names, except for Yannick Sinner. We don't have, you know, Alcaraz or Djokovic or even Medvedev. But we do have a lot of big names still. You know, Runa's there, Rublev's there. Of course, Sinner coming back for the first time. Even her catch. So they've got a few top 10 guys and a few guys sort of between 10 and 15 in the world as well. Guys like Dimitrov, Dimonor, who have both been in form this season. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? It's a really interesting event because you think Yannick Sinner will win it because he's the Australian Open champion. Also, he made the final here last year, lost to Medvedev in that final. So it makes sense to pick him, but maybe a Rublev, maybe a Dimitrov, who did really well here a couple of years ago to you know, make the final here. So maybe he could be an outside pick. Maybe a Hercatch who's in form right now as well. But there it is, Rotterdam, the 2024. Bit of a stacked event.